In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use standard form of a line to graph equations. So in class, we talked about how we can take the equation of a standard form and graph it. And really, we have one option right now. We could convert this equation to y equals mx plus b. We could then plot the y-intercept, the b-value, and then we can use the slope to find a second point. This is time-consuming and it's not really the most efficient way to graph this equation. So we're going to propose a second option. We can, using algebra, find the y-intercept. We could find the x-intercept of this equation. And once we've done that, we can connect the dots and extend the line. So let's see how we can graph this equation. We'll start with finding the y-intercept. At the y-intercept, we know that the x value is equal to 0. So I can sub 0 into the equation for x. And then I can solve for y. So when x is 0, y is equal to 10. Now that we've found the y-intercept, we can find the x-intercept. The x-intercept is similar to the y-intercept, except at the x-intercept, the y-value is equal to 0. So subbing in. 0 for y, and solving for x, we get an x value of 5. So really what we've found is two points. The first point is at 0 and 10. The second point is at 5 and 0. And so these two points, it's these two points that we're going to plot. So on our x-axis, we'll find the y value of 10. On the x-axis, we'll find the y x value of 5. And then we connect these with our straight line. And there's the graph of 2x plus y minus 10 equals 0. And we found that by finding the x and y intercepts without having to rearrange it. So a second example, 9x minus 3y plus 18 equals 0. Why don't you try this on your own? So pause the video now and try this on your own. And let's see what you get. So again, we can find the graph by solving for the x and the y-intercepts. So at the y-intercept, the x value is 0. So solving by isolating for y, I get negative 3y equals negative 18, or y equals positive 6. The x-intercept, 
found when y is equal to 0. So again, I have 9x minus 3 times 0 plus 18 equals 0. Or 9x equals negative 18. Or x equals negative 2. So these are my two points that I've found, 0 and 6, and negative 2 and 0. Plot these two points on my grid. Connect them with my straight line. Put some arrows on the end. And there's my graph of the equation, 9x minus 3y plus 18 equals 0.